So we got some deer out here on the lake. Apologies for the, uh, we have a bunch of wake coming in from a boat that was checking them out too. Zoom in a little bit, probably lose some resolution, but there's a, a doe and a buck in the back. This is now the second time I've seen deer <laughs> crossing the lake and they're definitely moving pretty quick. <clears throat> Man, I just woke up. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm choking on my, on my rice. Look over, I didn't even realize this guy's um, jib came completely loose overnight. Got a ton of wind. So I'm gonna run over there real quick and <clears throat> see if I can wrangle it <laughs> back in. I've, I've, I've never used a furl or um, jib though, so I don't really know um, how to get it back in. So I might have to look up on YouTube or something how to operate a furler because that, that sail probably isn't gonna. I don't know if it'll last like that, but it's probably not good for it, of course, so go see what I can do. <laughs> well, I, th I think I got it in. I had, <laughs> had no idea what the hell I was doing. I've never operated a, a furler before, but I just grabbed it by the bottom and just rolled it up. Um, and then I I tied the, uh, you can see the sheets are all kind of just wrapped around the front. I didn't really know what to do with them because it wasn't, the furler wasn't holding. I don't know if there's a lock somewhere or, or how it operates. So I just tied the uh, the sheets really tight down around the base um, and then and then tied them down on onto, uh, wrapped them around so they were nice and taut and then um, tied, just tied them down to one of those cleats. So who knows if that's going to hold but I don't I don't know what to do <laughs> so that's the best I could do but I guess I'll leave him a note and just let him know so he doesn't think someone was messing with his boat or whatever pretty solid day winds today around 11 mile per hour uh, average with gusts up to um, the upper upper teens I want to say or the 20s definitely been getting some of those gusts but funny thing is the wind is coming um, actually I don't know which direction it's going it's just kind of going northwest right now and the way that I face uh, in the dock basically the uh, wind was pretty much directly uh, coming from behind the boat so it's always tricky getting out <laughs> when you have uh, you know 15 mile per hour winds trying to push you back into the dock and you're just trying to uh, to get out especially when you just have little little four horsepower motor right there no cover on it so through that bad boy in reverse and I was almost I was almost probably like three-quarter throttle just to get out of the dock which is pretty crazy <laughs> And um, so I, you know, backed out and was getting close to the other boats, you know, going in reverse uh, across the, uh, um, over to the next dock. So, yeah, I popped it in forward, gave it, you know, turned turn the throttle down a little bit, of course. And uh, the wind was, and a huge gust came in right as, right as I threw it in forward. And I already wasn't, you know, really moving that much, so the rudder wasn't providing much steering. And... Uh, <laughs> So you know, I'm, you know, got the got the motor, gave it a little bit of extra throttle, got the tiller cranked all the way to the side, and the wind is just, I mean, it's, it was pushing me broadside at this point, so the wind was coming right across. Um, I got, at that point, I guess it was the port side of the boat, and it blew me right into the docks, um, and I, I didn't really have any mobility at all because the boat wasn't really moving forward that much at that point so the you know the rudder wasn't super effective plus you know if you're going I think you're going kind of straight but the wind's pushing you sideways even if you are moving forward you're going to be going to the side so I was putting along trying to gain some momentum so I could get some steering and the wind just overcame uh, the boat and pushed me into the docks but luckily I wasn't going too fast and luckily there aren't any boats um, next to me. I have two two open slips on either side, so didn't bang in anyone's boat, which is good. Sorry if the sun is uh, messing with the with the camera here. 
Um, didn't hit any other boats. Uh, and, and I didn't hit the dock hard. It was probably, you know, like a mile per hour or two and just, just bumped into it on the sides. But boat's fine. Um, and then it was a, a uh, debacle trying to get the boat <laughs> away from the docks. So I hopped off and I tried pushing it um, you know, straight off the docks and then hopping back on and giving it some throttle. Went right back in, banged up again. And uh, so then I got the idea, I put the nose, I was able to maneuver the boat around while I was, you know, standing on the dock with, oh, make sure I don't drive here, that wouldn't be good. Um, I, I maneuvered the boat while I was standing on the dock and was able to get the nose pointed into the wind. Um, which you know then reduced a lot of the the force from the wind since it wasn't hitting it on the side So I kind of maneuvered it that way gave it a little running push hopped back on Gave it three-quarter throttle and forward and uh, Took off so that was good. There, <laughs> there were some uh, some fishermen standing there watching me probably wondering what the hell I was doing But hey, you, you live and learn right? And nothing got damaged, no one got hurt. It's only going a mile per hour or two, so. All is good. Everything's fine. There we go. I should get a little tripod for down here. So then I can, you can actually see what, what I'm doing when I'm doing it rather than just looking at my legs. <laughs> Even though they are pretty nice, to be honest. <laughs> I haven't done legs in a while. But wind's picking up here. Let me turn it around so you all can see. Got some nice white caps coming off the waves a little bit. Not nothing, no spray yet. But you can see the definitely see the um, decent amount of waves. I'm getting a little bit of spray coming over the bow every once in a while some of these little waves but um, there isn't isn't a whole lot oh there's a little bit a whole lot of spray but still still cruising along i got the the motor propped up back there we're gonna add in a little bit of i guess less resistance i don't i don't know I think the boat's covered in algae and all kinds of muck on the bottom anyway, so I'm sure it's not the most water dynamic boat out there right now. Get it, get it cleaned. In the summer I jumped in and scrubbed it myself when the wind died down when I was out on the lake. But it's obviously too cold for that now in December. And today it's upper 40s, or 50s. Not too bad, I just got a couple layers on my life jacket of course, so it's keeping me pretty pretty well insulated. I was actually getting kind of hot when I was taking the boat out. I was all stressed out, banging into stuff. I was sweating by the time I got out between pushing it and wrangling the, the uh, halyard for the sail and all the stress from getting stuff. I was, I was pretty, pretty sweaty by the time I got out, I had to take my hat off. <laughs> I think that's all we got, all we got for today. I we'll just do one or two more laps and then head back in and clean up a little bit. I emptied the pee bucket this time. I will never make that mistake again after last time when I forgot and dumped all over the floor. The pee bucket is empty. I think that's pretty much it for today. So there's this abandoned boat that crashed into one of the islands about six weeks ago and it is still there 
and somebody posted on the Lake Lanier Facebook group about how they were sailing, had a little bit too much to drink, and the boom came across and hit them in the head, knocked them out, and the boat and him actually ended up um, running aground on this island. And somebody called the police because they found you know, the, the man <laughs> in his boat knocked out and uh, he ended up getting arrested. He's in jail for six, six weeks. Uh, and he was posted last week in the Facebook group. Uh, I'm asking for rides out to his boat. I don't know if he, uh, a couple people offered him rides, but I guess he didn't get out there. It's still there. Surprisingly, he's lasted for six weeks banging up against the shore. But, can't really see it now. It's kind of going behind the island, but very interesting, interesting story. Got some pretty good wind today. Right, Sid? Yeah, sorry, yeah. it was fun. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Good. <laughs> A little cold today chilly but sun came out it's been warming us up a little bit I keep wind, thinking we're not moving. wind was crazy earlier uh, probably 15 miles per hour 16 miles per hour if I'd guess getting some spray over the front but it's calmed down now but it is a little bit nicer now it's warmer and less wind and um, we had an interesting uh, explosion down there the iced tea we had a gallon of iced tea, came <laughs> scooting off the couch when we caught a big gust and the whole gallon hit the uh, ground and split open on the side. We got tea all over the place, but it's okay. It should come out. Okay. What do you think about today? I think it's nice. The sun's finally out. Yeah. Um, I feel That's like good. we're not moving at all. <laughs> but then I look yeah, behind us and we are. About so. three and a half knots, four knots. Mm -hmm. We were getting six earlier, the wind was stronger. A couple of boats out. Some down here too. And we saw some guy down this way. I think there's a catamaran up this way. I think he does. We got the uh, parade tonight. Mm -hmm. Like linear holiday parade. We'll be watching the boats come by with the lights on. It'll be pretty cool. Oh, this guy's definitely, definitely hydrofoiling now. He's cruising. I think that'd be freezing. He probably has a wetsuit on. It's a pretty small one, so they usually get splashed. 